suspended in a gondola against a wall that borders a vacant lot in the dilapidated center of Johannesburg, the bongs unleashes a kind of paint. The street artist creates one of his giant mural works, which have become a strong marker of the city's visual identity. The 32-year-old Bongani Maslahi is a figure of an artistic movement that has taken over buildings of the urban center for several years. His portraits with black and white faces, which leave colors to backgrounds, have a commercial value today. The importance of uh, painting in a public space, I think it's, it's the engaging part, you know, and uh, the fact that it, it, it is educational, you know. People get to ask questions and feel free about it and not feel the intimidation of having to walk into a gallery. His latest work, a commission from one of the world's largest streaming music platforms, depicts portraits of four local artists, including Afro soul singer Simfi Dana and Ama Piano sensation Nobule. They now see the city as bright because it used to be dull, mundane, and at the same time dodgy. But because of color, because of these lively murals that we paint, um, people start seeing it as, pla as a place that they can go into. The street artist had already made a series of portraits in tribute to deceased South African artists on huge concrete pillars supporting the highway in the cultural district of Newtown. Are they not necessarily doing this for the big money? Some of them do it in a, in a way that makes them their, their work big, but they've become quite obscure in terms of their names. They're not big names out there at all. Um, and I find that there's a sense of humility um, a wonderful sense of humility um, and there's less of an ego involved. The Bongs is one of many South African artists whom are participating in enriching and broadening South African urban culture one masterpiece at a time.